How's it going YouTube? Wood Cycles here. We're back 2024. Hope you've all had a really good Christmas. Um, this video is about the Surly Grappler. This is Surly's second iteration of their drop bar trail bike. Uh, so we're just going to have a little walk and talk around the bike. Um, it is a custom build, so it's not how you would buy it off the shelf. Uh, just to reiterate that point. Uh, new for Wood Cycles in 2024 is we're going to be doing a lot more social media, a lot more YouTube. We're going to be doing ride reviews on bikes which come into stock. Um, I'm going to take them for a spin, let you know my feelings, let you know how they ride, uh, specs. Still going to do the format which we've been doing, which is the walk and talk around the bike, let you know um, the spec levels of the bike, etc. Get up close. Uh, so we're still going to be doing the, that video format, which is great. Um, going to be traveling around the country, doing a few bits and bobs, bike parks, uh, that kind of thing, a few gravel rides, uh, which is cool. Um, we have plenty of social media outlets now, so we are on TikTok, we have Instagram, Facebook, um, any love that you can show us would be great. So go and follow us. I'll leave all of the links to our social media accounts in the description below. Um, so please go and give us a follow, give us a like, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. We're just gonna have a little walk and talk around the Surly Grappler. So it finished in blue. The first iteration of the Grappler was called the Ghost Grappler, um, which was finished in like a light olive color. Uh, this is blue. Uh, it's nice, the pictures, to be honest, don't do this justice. Um, and I'm not sure if the camera does either, um, but it's really nice in person. So, right, this is a 29 inch wheel. Um, you can run 650B 27.5. We're running 29ers on this because this is more biased towards gravel. Um, so this has been transferred from a hardcore hardtail. The components on this are slightly used, um, which is great because if you've got a hardcore hardtail and you want to get into gravel riding or bike packing um, or expedition riding, you know, this is the perfect bike. You just got to buy the frame and fork, the frame kit, um, and a few other bits like a headset, etc. And you're away. Even your dropper post will fit, providing it's the right size. Uh, so we'll start at the front. So we've got 15 by 110 boost spacing at the front. Um, we're running a 203 mil rotor on the front of this. So massive overkill, but you know, we had it, so we use it. Hutchinson Skeleton Racing Lab tires. These are a cross country tire, uh, 2.15 wide. Um, these tires have run cross country races as well. So they're, you know, they're really low resistance, which is great for gravel. Uh, they're gonna be nice on the road, but you can take them off road. You can really take it through the slot. Uh, plenty of bolt, bolt mounts on the um, fork here. So you can run stack racks, front panny racks, you can bolt loads of different things to there. FSA external headset, nice high head tube, so really comfortable riding position. Uh, genetic digest bars on this, so 48 wide, 21 degree flare, really aggressive, um, really stable off-road. TRP RRL brake levers, these are a cyclocross single speed fixie brake lever, and they are just brake levers on these, but they feel really nice in the hand. Um, they go really well with the TRP Spire calipers. Little hack for you here. Couldn't recommend this enough. Um, drop bar shifters. Basically, these are unrestricted. You can run Shimano, you can run SRAM, you can run Campag, you can run anything you like with a drop bar shifter. Um, this one is the small barrel shifter. They do a larger barrel to compensate for 11 and 12 and 13 speed so the wide range that the the mech has to to go over um, these are the small barrels but i'm running a wolf tooth tampan to compensate for that on the back which we'll get to in a minute we'll show you that so yeah nice little hack obviously unrestricted on the left hand side of the bars if you can see there we have a shifter that shifter actuates the dropper post Okay, so we've got a 150mm X-Fusion dropper post on here, which is actuated by, by that lever there. All cables are run underneath the bar tape and exit just there, nice and clean. Uh, BBB bar tape, just to add, this is a reflective bar tape, so this half of the bar is reflective. Um, really nice gravel tape, really comfortable gel, um, that's really good. So well worth a look on there. 
obviously Surly's graphics, chromoly steel frame. Surly actually paint the inside of the frame as well as the outside, they dip it, um, which is good for corrosion, rust protection, etc. Crank wise, we've got our FSA gradient. Uh, this is a downhill enduro chain set with a 32 tooth ring. Um, obviously, it's massively overkill for, for this type of bike, but you know what? It'll last. Um, DC black cat pedals there. Just moving through to the back, we have an SLX rear derailleur with a 51 tooth wide range Dior set. KMC chain. Move around the other side. So we've got the TRP Spire mechanical discs. Um, as far as I'm concerned, these are the best mechanical disc brakes you can buy um, with the sintered pads and TRP floating rotors. Now these rotors are 2.3 mil thickness. So again, a little hack for you there. They do fit inside these calipers. Normal discs are 1.8, um, but these are 2.3, which, which is good at 88s with cooling and just gives you a, a better stopping power. Um, you don't have to have them, but just to let you know, they do fit inside these calipers. And yeah, all in all, you know, this is a really aggressive drop bar bike. You can run it uh, with a 27.5 inch wheel. Um, stock, they come with a 2.6 wide tire. I believe you can go up to a 2.8. There's a lot of clearance on this. The rear wheel with a 29 inch wheel, it is all the way in on the rear dropout here. Obviously they slide so that you, you know you can to adjust for the, to compensate for the different size wheels or if you want to run it single speed you can. Um, yeah, and we've still got clearance. We've still got plenty of clearance in there. Uh, I did remove a little bolt there and put a little blanking grommet in. Um, it did clear, but just just to make so when, when it's full of mud, I didn't want it scuffing. Um, but yeah, all the way in with a 29er, which is nice. Keeps the rear, the rear sort of nice and short. Keeps it whippy. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a ride review on this one next, uh, which is gonna be nice. Taking it for a nice sort of gravel ride on Sunday. Gonna do about 70K. So yeah, we'll film that. I'll give you a really good honest representation of how it rides um, and yeah look out for any content on TikTok as well uh, so we'll be doing you know pleasant nice short funny videos etc uh, please give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one cheers